not a long day, and I just not got to finish eating. And uh, you know, I saw this 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 story, and it really did strike a chord in me. The reason why it struck a chord in me <clears throat> is because in life, when you go through trials and tribulations, when you overcome <clears throat> and you attempt to make something of yourself and you are surrounded by people, this is why I always say, be careful of the company you keep. Be careful of the people who say that they're your friends. But when it comes to their actions, they're nothing but jealous, envious, ravenous wolves. What you have here is a, 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 a man, a brother, <clears throat> that was pushed into the lake by friends. And attempted to watch him drown. And as a direct result of this situation, this man is brain dead and he'll never achieve the goal of being a doctor. An aspiring medical student who was left brain dead and fighting for his life after his so-called friends. See, you can understand. Folks, you need to read with the word, not with the what, not with motivational speakers, not with uh, coaches, uh, not what anybody says about what a friend is, but what that word says about friends. Because uh, there's actions that a friend will never do, and there are actions that a friend will always do. But let's go ahead and say it. This call so whole friend pushed him into a, a Louisiana lake despite knowing that he could not swim. The friends then kept looking on as he was drowning and did nothing to save him. Listen. <clears throat> this man, you can tell that this man did not know the scriptural definition of what a friend was. The video shows the group of peering, uh, uh, the, the group peering into the water a few moments after they shoved Christopher Gilbert off the dock at Lake Deborn in Farmingville on April 14th. A report by the New York Post said that one woman entered the water before abandoning the rescue mission. It took another 10 minutes before a patron at a nearby restaurant jumped in to bring Hubert back to life, saving his life. Gilbert's mother, Yolanda George, told local news that the 26-year-old was brain dead and the rest of his organs were starting to fail when they brought him to the hospital. I was devastated. I felt like my life ended at that moment. My son is an aspiring to be a medical doctor. My son is going to medal to be a medical doctor. No more. He's got his master's last year in biological science. All because you was around a bunch of snakes, dogs, pigs that were most likely jealous and envious of you. He was preparing for medical school. And so far, this uh for this to have happened to him, I was devastated. Yolanda quoted and saying this and saying by KSLV, the spire medical student spent 72 hours on a ventilator in an ECMO machine. Cops that his so-called friends tried to pass off as a near-death incident as horse play. They even lied to his mother and Gilbert said had fallen into the lake. Be careful of the company you keep. Just because you're around people and they chums and pals, that don't mean that they're your friends. Later, a white woman around the same age of Gil admitted to push him into the lake. Ooh. His friends admitted that they did not know that he could swim, but Gilbert's family dismissed the claim. To add insult to injury, after pushing him in, 
No one from the friends group attempted to go in after him. Instead, two brave bystanders who had no relationship to Chris heard commotion and retrieved his body from the lake. In personal injury attorney, uh, Claudine Payne, representing George, was quoted as saying by the London Parish Journal. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. And it seems like he had white friends, but neither here nor there. Um, be careful of the company you keep. Be careful of people who you call friend. You know, if we just look at what it means to be a friend from a scriptural perspective, and then look out at people who claim to be your friend, you know that they ain't your friend. It pretty is sad. It, it really is sad. Be careful, be careful, be careful. 